Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this advanced PowerPoint tutorial series, you will learn how to create four quadrant circle in 3D. The four quadrant circle you will learn to create looks like this. When I add text, this diagram can be used to represent any of the consulting models like SWOT analysis, PEST analysis, etc. And it's a very useful consulting diagram for any business presentation. Let us see how to create this useful diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. And here I am in the new slide and the tool that I'm going to use to create this diagram is under block basic shapes called as block arc. Click on that one and while holding shift key draw this block arc. That ensures that it is a perfect circle. The next step is to thin the thickness of this one. So I'm going to thin it by moving that yellow handle to, towards the edge. The next step is I want only one quadrant. So I'm going to move this yellow handle to correspond with this one here, with this uh, white square here. So let us move it here and see, let us say, no, it is still not aligned. So I'm going to move it a little further, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, there it is, perfectly aligned. Now, now we got uh, one quadrant for this four quadrant circle. The next step is to control C. So we are making a copy of it and control V, one, two, three. So we are going to take three more copies so that we can make all four quadrants. Let us take this one and we want to flip it vertical. So arrange, rotate, flip vertical. So we got one taken care of. Let us take this one and arrange, rotate and rotate left. So we have another one taken care of. Now this one, arrange, rotate, rotate left and you're going to do once more, arrange, rotate and flip vertical so that you have got this one done. Basically, you're trying to rotate these segments to make sure that they form all four quadrants. It's as simple as that. So you can, you can always figure out how it is done by rotating it in different directions till the time you get all the four quadrants in four corners. That's as simple as that. Now, we need to make sure that all of them are aligned properly. So I'm going to select all of these. And once again, I go to Arrange, Align, and Align Center. And Arrange, Align, Align Middle, and there you go, all four circles are properly aligned. The next step is to color them differently. So I'm going to select this one, I go to Format, and I'm going to apply a quick style. The one that I like is this one called Moderate Effect Olive Green, so I click on that one. The next one, I'm going to use a red color, so this one works fine. And for this, I'm going to use a tan color, so I'm going to click on this one. Now for this, I'm going to use uh, a blue quick style. There is no hard and fast rule here. Whatever color suits you will be fine for you to use, to work with. The next step is to give a white outline to it. So go to shape outline after selecting all these uh, shapes. Go to shape outline and select the outline color as white. And let us increase the width of uh, the outline. So I'm going to choose a fairly strong one, say four and a half points. Okay, so that is going to be the width of the outline. Now we got a four segmented circle, very beautiful one created now. The next step is to give it a 3D angle. So I'm going to select all of them once again. And I'm going to use the shortcut called Control G so that I can group them all together. Then I right click on the group and go to Format Shape. Now this task pane opens in PowerPoint 2013. This one works as a pop-up menu when you, are, when you use PowerPoint 2010 or 20, 2007. So the functionality is the same. The place where it is positioned is different. So you don't really have to um, worry about the kind of controls that I'm going to use and they will not be any different from what you already have. Let us go to effects and I'm going to use two of them. One is called as 3D rotation. And under 3D rotation, let us use this preset. And the preset that I'm going to use is called as Perspective Relaxed. So it is under Perspective, so Perspective Relaxed. When I click on it, the angle uh, comes out like this one. Let us go to 3D Format. 
the first thing I'm going to do is to give it a nice bevel so that the diagram looks attractive. So I'm going to use this one called as cross bevel that already looks quite attractive. The next step is to increase the depth. I'm going to give it say um, 30 as the depth. You can choose a color for the depth, maybe this, or you can just leave it the way it is, okay, automatic. The next step is to change the material. So I'm going to choose the material and I'm going to use this special effect called dark edge. So already you can see a very beautiful color pattern coming to it. And then we are going to play with the lighting and the lighting that I'm going to use is this one called balance. You can, you can play with anything here. You can play with this one. You can uh, use this one. You can choose anything that you feel comfortable. So if, if this is good enough, we can work with this or, um, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to stay with this one. So this looks interesting. If you want to add some shadow to it, of course, go ahead and um, do that. So go to shape effects and shadow. And maybe you can choose this preset uh, shadow. If you want to increase the size of the shadow, you can do so. Play around with the diagram till you're very, very happy with the result. The next step is to get the markers done for which I'm going to use the oval tool under basic shapes. So let us hold the shift tab and draw a circle. Let us go to shape effects, go to preset and use this preset called preset two. Let us give it a white color and keep it right on top of this one. Now hold control key and make a copy of it here and control key and make a copy of it here and control key and make a copy of it here. So these will make it easy for you to uh, show the specific quadrant while you talk. And if you want to draw, write the text boxes, it's always a good idea to use a line so that you can connect this to the text boxes. I'm going to draw a horizontal one, horizontal line as well. I'm going to put them together and use the black one. If, if you're not happy with the position here, you can change the position. And once you're done, control G and you can have this without any outline. So that's very important. So there you go. You can make the pointer for text and you can do that for the remaining ones as well. Once you finish everything and enter your text, this is how the final outcome would be. Isn't this beautiful? So it is very easy for you to make stunning looking four, four quadrant circles in 3D with the right tools and the right skill. I'm going to show you some examples taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs, which show different variations of circle diagram. Here is a three part circle diagram, which we created. And let us take another example of a four part circle diagram. This is a four quadrant diagram. This is a variation we created. The reason why we come up with these variations is we have a wonderful solution called PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2, which are especially created for those busy presenters who don't have the time to create professional looking graphics and diagrams for themselves. If you are one of those busy business presenters, you don't have to waste time creating your graphics and diagrams from scratch. You can right away go to one of these wonderful off, uh, off the shelf solutions like PowerPoint CEO Packs volume one and two, which have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs. Just choose the template that matches your thought, replace sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Hope you like this tutorial. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.